Welcome back to Sew, Grow and Cook. Today I'm going to be doing an impromptu cooking session. I've got a load of spinach in the polytunnel that needs using up, plus some pearl barley in the cupboard, which I, I want to use instead of rice, just as a bit of a change. Um, and I thought I'd do a, a nice vegetarian dish. I've also got a little bit of wild garlic that I've just picked today. It's just starting to kind of uh, come up around in the hedgerows and in shady areas of our property. So I picked a few of those and a little bit of fresh parsley and a few other ingredients. Oh yes, some leeks which are coming to the end of the season now. And I thought I'd put together a kind of risotto, although risotto, strictly speaking, uses rice. And this is going to be pearl barley, so I'll make up a new name for it. Anyway, come and see how I put this together because I'm going to make it up as I go along. And let's see if it, it's a success or a failure. Okay, so here's our ingredients. And again, this is one of my make it up as you go along Saron's recipes, probably based on something that actually exists. But of course, I'm using what I've got available. So you may want to substitute some of these ingredients for things that you've already got. Um, so I'm using pearl barley and I used a cup. Okay, it says on this cup 250 mils. That might be the same as 250 grams, but I'm not 100% sure. I can get a scale and find out. Right, I've got a scale here. I'm just going to move these back. Now, I have rinsed these out in a sieve because I always feel you ought to do that to grains and pulses to rinse off any um, dust and things. Now that's about right. That's about 250 grams measured on my scale here. So that's good. Good to hear. I'm going to put that over here. In addition to that, I have got a washed and chopped leek from the garden. I've got a whole load of fresh, proper spinach that was growing in the polytunnel. And I've picked that and I've gone through the yellow leaves and I've given it a really good wash. In addition to that, I have got a bunch of wild garlic leaves. Okay, they've just started the wild garlic. I've got some fresh flat leaf parsley. I have also got about a liter of vegetable stock, some seasoning. And in my case, I've got some salt, some white pepper because I've got white pepper. I've got some cumin powder, um, but you could use whatever you fancy. Now, the other important ingredient here is I've got a jar of oh, chickpeas, which I'm just spilling all over the table here, and some olive oil. Well, let's get started on the technique. Well, silly me, I forgot to turn the camera on to video when I was sauteing the leeks and the garlic scapes um, so we don't get that beginning bit of the video however i have sauteed them and i have put them in the pot with the vegetable broth and the barley and what i'm going to do is give it a really good stir and let it simmer for about 15 minutes just to get the cooking process underway it should hopefully only take about 30 minutes in total to make this. So I'll put a lid on and I've got some spare vegetable broth just in case it goes a bit dry. Um, but hopefully I'm not going to need that. So we'll come back shortly. 
Okay, the pearl barley has been cooking with the leeks and the vegetable broth and the garlic scapes for about 15 minutes. And you can see quite a lot of the liquid is now beginning to get absorbed into the pearl barley. Now's a good time to add your seasonings. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt here and a little bit of cumin. I'm just eyeballing it and doing it all by very rough measurements here. So cumin and a little bit of white ground pepper, okay? Give that a stir. Smells quite nice, actually. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to throw in the drained and rinsed um, cooked chickpeas and I'm also going to now add the uncooked spinach, right, so I'll give that a little bit of a rough chop. The reason I didn't put it in earlier is because you really want this as fresh as you can get it. So lightly cooked is my preference. I don't want it all sort of overcooked. So I'm just going to chop some of this. And add that in. And that's going to add a little bit of moisture of its own. I may not need to use all of it, which is fine. I can use what's left for something else, like a curry or an omelette or what have you. Okay, I think I'm going to add another splash of the vegetable broth. Give that a gentle stir. and then cover it. I'll give it another 10 minutes and we'll come back and check and see what it's doing. Let's have a taste test. Very savory. The pearl barley is cooked to perfection. It's tender, but it's still got a little bit of a bite to it. So a little bit chewy, but um, very Moorish. And the chickpeas complement the flavor really well. The spinach, I love the spinach. Oh, and there is chopped parsley in here. And the garlic is very, very subtle. So you can add as much or as little seasoning as you like, add different spices or herbs as you wish. It's a really flexible, make it up as you go along recipe. Any herbs and things you've got in your garden you can use. And this time of year stuff is just starting to come up. So I could have used mint, I could have used sorrel, I could have used all kinds of things, but I chose what I had handy and I had a lot of spinach. You could use Swiss chard if you're not growing regular spinach. Um, parsley, you could use any sort of fresh coriander or chives or what have you to flavor it. Delicious, very economical. Pearl barley does not cost that much and stop. You can make your own stock out of vegetable scraps and things or use a stock cube, what have you. Um, so give it a try and tell me what you think. And once again, thank you for watching So Grow and Cook. Bye for now.